All right, hey, we're back. And yeah, I've just leveled everyone. No need to record that. And we've got a bear. Yep. You made friends with a bear. <laughs> Yeah, that's... Okay. Anyway, so what were we doing? Oh yeah, going to church. Take me to church! Ooh, okay, here we are. At church. You saved us. I can't believe we're alive. And it's finally over. What are you going to do now? With mother and father both gone, I suppose they'll send us to an orphanage, maybe separated. At least we're both alive. I won't forget what you did, though. Neither of us will. Oh. Thank you. Why do you have to go to an orphanage? With mother and father dead, we don't have any money. I think we have relatives in Denerim, but we've no way to get there. We'll be fine. Oh. I promised Mother I'd see to Bevan's safety, and I will. Perhaps I could help you get to dinner, Em? Oh, your path is probably much too dangerous for us. There are wagons going there, but it would be expensive. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant. Here we go. Oh, how generous we are today. Oh my god, yes. shut up. That, that's incredible. Wait, when did you come back? This is more than I ever I thought I replaced you with a bear. With this I can hire a wagon to take us to Denerim. We have family there and they'll take us in for sure now. Come on, Bevin, let's find one now. Make a watch over you. Oh, what about the sword? Well, I'm, I I guess I ultimately did help them out, though. Cool. You know, like... Yeah. Alright. Now what are we doing? We're not doing whatever. Whatever, whatever. Whatever. The end is upon us. The dead rise and foul magic. Oh my god. There are many great tales of lost kings who return to their lands to reign in glory. I am not lost, nor for that matter a king. And there's nothing glorious about me. You are Merrick's son. You are the rightful king. Can I go over here? Arden. Nope, I can't. I am the son of a star-struck maid and an indiscreet man who just... And I'm off. Ah, uh, sort of like coming home... ...them again, but with more undead... <laughs> nice. Yes, yes, very lovely. Let us soak in... Just one of the crate. The begins. Ooh, the windmill. I once took a ride on the stairs of the windmill. It didn't turn out well. <laughs> I really love her. Odd how quiet or maybe I will romance her after all. You would think there was nobody yeah. outside at all. But I think I, I just might. Further. I had a plan to enter the castle. Yeah, Cora looks cute. Secure. There is a secret passage here in the mill, accessible only to my. Yeah, I, I just had this like period of kind of self doubt about my character creation. You know, like when that happens, because like you're like, yeah, this looks really good in the character creation screen, and then you see it, like, in the actual game, and you're like, uh But then, like, you're like, nah, it's growing on me. I like it. Yeah, I like it. I like her. She looks cute. Uh, why didn't you go in the first place? I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's Breath. Maker's Breath? Oh, hey, it's a woman. Egan, thank the maker you yet live. Isolde, you're alive. 
How did yeah, chill, you... buddy. <laughs> what has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tika. Alone. That sounds a little suspicious. And we're gonna need a bit more explanation than that. What? Who is this woman, Tiga? You remember me, Lady Soul, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? It isn't my long lost yeah, rival. You don't look ten years old anymore. Pardon me. And I don't look like thirty anymore. I would exchange pleasantries, but considering the circumstances. Please, Lady Azol, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead were Terrible evil. ...and haunted the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. A mage? And I think... Good. I going mad. I like mages. He won't free the castle. I hate playing as one, but I like them. Death. I just don't like the gameplay mechanic of magic. Yeah, it's annoying. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Is they're all still alive? He is. He is being kept alive so far. Thank you, Kept maker. alive. Kept alive. Kept alive. Yeah. By kept alive. Something the mage unleashed. So far, it allows yeah. him and Connor and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was yeah, we noticed nightmare, that much. It struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? Pardon it's granted. Pardon and accusation? Pertinent for an elf, you mean? No, I did not mean... I went there. That is to say, I... I please, stop this. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. Came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Okay, but why does he have to go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tigan. Tigan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to, for Connor's sake. All right, we need to talk the about this. Dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. He's dead. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> to the castle. Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tigan. Bless you. We don't seem to have much of a choice. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You Still clicking with my butt. Have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? And what am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than his soul seems. She seems to know a bit more. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. Wait. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable.
Um. Right, I understand. You're a good woman. The maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Red Cliff. Mm. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Mm hmm Van Tegan informed me that he would like us to wait at the castle. Um, room. yeah. I would... at any... Cool. Let's go. Into the castle. <laughs> Ooh, a crate. Nice, I'm not planning on doing the quest that that involves, but cool. Cool. Pretty cool. This can just load whenever it feels like it. Yay, okay. I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child. For an entire day. <gasps> ah, good times. I but once locked myself in a cage once, like last week. Lake. Who would build such a thing? Who wouldn't build such a thing? Come on. Oh, hey. More of these assholes. Is there anyone alive out there? Nope. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Nope. Who are you? My name is Jowan. Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon. Yeah, actually, he is the mage version of Tamlin, actually. If you play the circle mage, he is your Tamlin. <laughs> So yeah, Lady Soul mentioned the mages behind all this. No, I I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I only poisoned I, him. No, it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned <laughs> when all that began. At first, Lady Soul came here with her men demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. Uh, yeah, why do I believe you? You probably shouldn't. I wouldn't. I'd plead for mercy, but... I'm not sure I deserve it. Yeah, sorry about that. I was sneezing. And why didn't they just kill you? I'm not sure. I, just, I don't want to. Um... Come back for me. But the screams, they just... Alright, I'm gonna start worse. skipping them. <laughs> Nobody came. I was told... You see... You! A, a blood, blood mage. mage! Truly? Awesome, a cool! Guest. A blood mage. Well, that isn't good. Alistair, chill! I in the Forbidden Arts, and they <sighs> condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. Of course he was. He's abandoned me here, hasn't he? 
He needs to redeem himself. Heart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. Connor had started to show signs. No. Nah. Isolde was. Connor, a mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Actually, I uh, think that's the smart thing to do. Like, in this world. Because, you know, in the circle, fun fact, the number one cause of death of mages in the circle is suicide. So... And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the number two cause was Templar Brutality. Uh, so yeah, I can't say I blame her for that. Maybe she could have, like, screened them better? I don't know. But, I honestly can't say I blame Isolde. Because the circle is a bad, bad place. Especially for a mage. I'm not sure why you'd be there if you weren't a mage. Oh well. <laughs> hmm. And why would she be frightened over some becoming a mage? Gee, because I wonder why. Forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful owl. She's also That is also true. Woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Yeah, and that much is like... Yeah, that much kind of... hits home for me. You know, and something's a sin, but you're like... It's not something that you can control, but it's a sin. Like, yeah, that's like, yeah, I feel Connor there. Um, And how much magic did you teach him? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell. Never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I see... I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay Fucking him. watch me. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, please. Just watch me let him out. I'm letting you out. You're letting me out? And what then? Run. Get out of here. Go. Escape. Flee. No, I'm not leaving. Yes, you are. I made a mistake, and I'm going to find some way to fix it. Now, that's really sad, because, like, the reason he left the circle to begin with is because... No, no, damn, Jow, no, you were supposed to. Damn it. He's gonna come back. But yeah, it's really sad because, like, I do not support 
killing Jowen. I mean, actually, when it comes to any kind of side with a mage or a not mage, I will side with the mage. But it's really sad because, like, like the reason he left the circle to begin with. Fun fact is because he discovered that they were planning to make him tranquil. And I honestly cannot think of anything that would be worse than that. Yeah. Yeah, you go, Cora. Just stab the air. Yes. Keep on stabbing empty space. So yeah, I don't like that later. Your only chances are to kill him or turn him over to the circle. <sighs> Though I think one of my mods I have lets you not kill him. So, I guess we'll be investigating that. Hey there. Ooh, nice. Where Where does head go? Fight me, asshole. Allow me. I can damn it. Right damn it, damn it, damn it. Allow me. I can huh. do that for you. Hmm. Ooh, I don't like this one. Looks like it's got a sustainable going. Hey! Fuck off! Yeah! Allow me. I could do that for you. Damn it. Yes. Allow me. I could do that for you. No, you can't. Huh. Why does Where's the Where's the mage? I love dogs so much I'm gonna poison them. Whoa. 
That's kind of strange looking. Yeah, close that door. Don't actually need this shit, but I don't want to leave this stuff sparkling. It annoys me. Ooh, a girl. Hang on. Ooh, an elf root. Even better. Please don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. Everywhere. My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. Is she... All right. What happened to everyone? I don't know. I don't know what happened. There was some talk the Arl was poisoned, that, that he wasn't just sick. They arrested someone for it, but then everything went mad. People started killing each other, and then their bodies would get up and walk. They didn't attack us right away, unless you tried running. You know, this is kind of like the witch hunts. Everyone else was gone. I when, you know, like, they'd arrest anymore. the, uh, witch. Um, air quoting witch. Uh, but then, like, at the trial, people would be like, Ah, they're attacking me. And it's like, if I wanted to prove that I wasn't a witch using magic to assault people, why would I be using magic to assault people as a witch? At my goddamn trial. That, that's like saying, I don't punch people while you're punching someone. Like, why would I do that? Why would the people doing that think it's believable? Why did they believe it? What the fuck even were the witch hunts? Puritans are great. I love Puritans. <sighs> it's kind of adorable when people think Puritanism isn't around still. Uh, another castle. Uh, you know, it's even funnier than that. Like, growing up, I was always expecting that there'd be, like, even more peer pressure from my peers to practice witchcraft than to do drugs. Just because of like, the religious upbringing. Turns out there wasn't much of either. So... Yeah. Um, are you Valena? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There's a tunnel out of the dungeon. But, but the monsters. Yeah, just go. I'll find my way. Yeah, go. I can run fast, and I know the castle. Thank you. So yeah, there's your fun fact about me as a kid. I was like, oh no, I can't be friends with these right. heathen, heathen children. They'll peer pressure me to summon demons and then I'll go to hell. Can't have that. Oh no, not hell. Wait, whoa. Hey, puppy. Cool. 
cool. Oh, a crystal. Can't wait to get that character. Oh boy. Gotta get through all this bullshit first. Oh boy. You know, people talk about like how the deep roads are the most unnecessarily complicated part of the game. And maybe like if you're playing like an evil character or something, then like this part isn't quite as bad, but it's still loads of bullshit. Like, the way I'm playing it in this playthrough is especially bullshitty. Thank God, though, I have this Skip the Fade mod. I thought about removing it for this playthrough. Thank fucking God I didn't. I am so glad I didn't. And I'm not even in the Fade yet. <sighs> I should probably... Whoa. Yeah. Alright. Um... Fuck. Okay, I guess after this battle we'll be calling it off. Um, hang on. There we go. Stop. Oh, great lag. Love that. <laughs> Where is this? And I'm off. Grab it in. <laughs> Damn it. Hey. Pal. There we go. Those revenants are really annoying. And it's dead. Okay. Alright, I guess that's it for this video. And then we're gonna go in there. Cool.